Do you know who created Pokemon? Pokemon Red and Green, which marked the beginning of its history, were released on February 27, 1996. More than 25 years have passed since then. Pokemon has become very popular now all over the world. Many people may say that Pokemon taught them the beauty of meeting and parting friendship and hard work when they were children. In this video, I'd like to tell you how Pokemon was born in the form of a documentary. Please subscribe to our channel. To begin with, the Pokemon game was developed mainly by a company called Game Freak Inc. Nintendo also plays a major role, but Game Freak is the most important. Game Freak is the creator of Pokemon. The current president of Game Freak, Satoshi Tajiri, is the creator of Pokemon. In 1965, Satoshi Tajiri was born on August 28 in Setagaya World, Tokyo, and soon after moved to Machida, Tokyo. At that time, Machida was full of nature, and Satoshi was passionate about collecting insects and observing living creatures. He thought about how to get more insects, discovered that tadpoles had thin lines, and gained other experiences that would later lead to Pokemon. By the time Satoshi was in junior high school, urban development had come to Machida and the creeks and forests where he used to play had be hidden with concrete. Space invaders were a big boom in Japan at the time. Satoshi was also captivated by them. Even after the boom ended, he continued to frequent game archers and became a regular player in the rankings of many kinds of games, making a name for himself as a game archer troll. While still in high school, he won an award for excellence in a contest sponsored by SEGA and was hired by SEGA as an external ideal staff member. At the same time, he wanted to share his game knowledge and strategies with others, so he created a mini-comic magazine called Game Freak, which became the origin of the company name. Pokemon's unique character can also be found in its attractive design. Ken Sugimori was a fan of Game Freak. He is still working on the offshore illustrations for Pokemon. When their income from Game Freak began to increase, Satoshi suggested to his friends that they all work together to create a game for the NES. Junichi Masuda, who was in charge of all the sounds for Pokemon Red and Green and is one of the most important figures in the history of Pokemon, also joined the game in production from this point on. The jury and his colleagues were excited to begin work on the game, but various difficulties awaited them. First of all, in order to create a game for the NES, they had to sign a contract with Nintendo, a hardware manufacturer, and prepare expensive development equipment. The jury and his team decided against signing a contract with Nintendo but instead built their own development equipment. After three years of hard work, they completed a game called Quinty physically. This game was brought to Namco, and Quinty became a big hit, selling 200 million copies. Using the proceeds as capital, Game Freak Inc. was established. 
while working on various tasks as a game production company, the jury completed a project proposal. Capsule Monster. This became the prototype of Pokemon. The jury brought the proposal for Capsule Monster to Ishihara Tsunekazu of Creatures Inc. and received a favorable response. Ishihara also communicated the plan to Nintendo. Capsule Monster was renamed Pocket Monster and became an official project by Game Freak, Nintendo, and Creatures. Game Freak was working on game production while simultaneously developing Pokemon. Various ideas were put forward to make it even better. One of the attractions of Pokemon is the communication exchange. When Tajiri was playing Dragon Warrior 2 back in the day, he couldn't get the item called Madcap, but Sugimori had two of them and he thought it would be great if there could be exchange, which gave birth to the idea of the exchange. The jury considers Pokemon as living creatures. They were also very careful in the direction of the exchange. The position of the pipe in the screen was really matched to the position of the cable, and the message was also devised. They wanted to express the sadness of Putin. They were also particular about the battle screen. Opponent's Pokemon is placed in the upper right corner and our Pokemon is the lower left corner. This is the familiar arrangement thanks to Pokemon, but at the time it was innovative. For the design, they had a popularity contest for the characters and derived ideas from the concept of types, which led to the creation of attractive Pokemon. Pokemon was well on its way to completion, but this is where the development was in jeopardy. There were only three programmers at Game Freak, but due to hard work, they all said they would quit the company. The jury tried to persuade them repeatedly, but they left the company. Junichi Masuda saved the day. Masuda, who was also an expert in programming, managed to fill in the gaps left by the free programmers and successfully saved Game Freak from a crisis. As the game was nearing completion, the jury suddenly decided to introduce the communication battle system which had been on hold until then. Shigeki Morimoto, the creator of the mythical Pokemon Mew, built the system and managed to incorporate it into the game. Finally, the sample of Pokemon was completed. At this point, six years of production had passed. The jury delivered the completed sample to the producer, President Ishihara. The jury and the rest of Game Freak employees were filled with a sense of accomplishment. A few days later, they received a surprising phone call. You should rewrite this scenario, said President Ishihara. According to him, overall it's good, but the creator's message was not conveyed. The jury was in despair. But he gathered his last strength and continued to write the scenario for six months. And finally... Pokemon Red and Green was released. You are probably familiar with the rapid progress that followed, with animated cartoon adaptions and overseas expansion. Pokemon is a now a global content. Satoshi Tajiri's genius ideas and experiences since his childhood are strongly reflected in Pokemon. He met Ken Sugimori, Junichi Masuda, Shigeki Morimoto, and other members who continue to support Pokemon today. 
Morimoto sneaked in a mythical Pokemon just before the completion of the project, which later caused a great commotion. But that is a story for another time. Game Freak? The great group of creators who gave birth to Pokemon. Thanks to them, we can go on our journey again. A world of dreams and adventures with Pokemon awaits. Let's go! Thank you for watching. How was it? We hope to make more and more documentaries related to Pokemon on this channel. If you like it, please subscribe to our channel. See you again in the next video.